Hi, in this lesson we are going to look at hidden Markov models or HMMs. First let's look at some speech recognition basics. Speech recognition can be accomplished using the popular template based pattern recognition approach. One key idea here is to derive typical speech sequences as patterns, example word patterns, and calculate local spectral distances to compare the patterns. Even though statistical techniques are widely used in clustering to create reference patterns in image-based techniques, it is often inadequate for speech classification and recognition. Consider, for example, the use of LPC, linear predictive coding of speech segments as a distortion measure for the local distance of the template matching. The Euclidean distance form of the LPC coefficients suggests that the reference vector can be viewed as the mean of some assumed distribution. This simple form of sufficient statistics neglects the time dependency of speech signals which is often very useful in recognition speech utterances. So, we need to study a more elaborate and analytical statistical method for speech recognition with which will take care of the time dependency of speech signals. Later we are going to look at a more widely used statistical method of characterizing spectral properties known as hidden Markov model or HMM. Let's here look at the functioning of a discrete time Markov process. Consider a system that may be described at any time as being in one of a set of capital N distinct states. At regular spaced discrete times, the system undergoes a change of state according to a set of probabilities associated with the state. Here we denote the time instance associated with that st which states changes as t equal to 1, 2, so on and so forth, and actual state at time t at qt. qt's are the states. There can be state q1, q2, q3 like that. A first order discrete time Markov chain depends on the previous state only, just only the previous state. If you take a probability qt of a state, given qt minus 1, the previous state, comma qt minus 2, two, two state before the pre uh, current state, like that you can have qt minus 3, so on and so forth. So qt is j state, qt minus 1 is i state, qt minus 2 is k state, like that you can define it. That is qt given qt minus 1, comma qt minus 2. But if it is a first order discrete time Markov chain, then it will depend only on the previous state, that is qt minus 1. That means qt minus 2 can be dropped here. That means this statement can be reduced to probability of qt given qt minus 1. So we, we can also write p equal p probability j given i. j is the current state, i is the previous state. The state transition probabilities aij is given by aij probability of qt given qt minus 1. qt is equal to j, qt minus 1 equal to i for all i and j between 1 and n with the following properties where for all actually i and j should be greater than 0 and for all that is for all i and j a i j is the transition probability is always positive it's a probability and also if you sum up all the transition probabilities from 1 to n it should be equal to 1 for all the nodes in the in the uh, Markov chain Let's take an example here, which is a weather model. We have three states here, rain, cloudy, sunny. Rain is state 1, cloudy is state 2, sunny is state 3. So let's assume that once a day, example at noon, the weather is observed as being one of rain, cloudy or sunny. The state diagram is shown and then these are the 
state transient probability that is if it is a rainy day today what is the probability of next day is also rain rainy so it's 0.4 rainy day next day is cloudy is 0.3 cloudy day next day is rain rainy is 0.2 so this is a this is a uh, model that you can create by observation of several uh, uh, several days and then come up with a statistical table and then put this in the diagram form and then we can also characterize actually the uh, the weather on a, on day t is classified by a single one of the three states given by this uh, matrix so same thing given here so we can we have this figure here or we can have it in a matrix form i current state j is the next day if it was a rainy day next day is a rainy day is 0.4 rainy to cloudy 0.3, rainy to sunny 0.3, so on and so forth. Also, we can write it in matrix form Aij is equal to the matrix equal to Aij transient probabilities. Now the question here is what is the probability that the weather for eight consecutive days sun, 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 rain, rain, sun, cloudy, sun. So if you the, the state sequence is given we need to find out what is the probability of having such a state sequence. Let's see how are we going to attack this problem. So, so what is given here is the observation sequence, which is the sunny, 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 rain, rain, sunny, cloudy, and sunny. So, sunny state is state number three, rainy state is state number one, cloudy state is state number two. So, basically, we have this observation sequence of the states. And now we are going to write an ex equation for probability. Probability of the observation sequence given this kind of a model is given by this equation. That means the state transition qt given qt minus 1 if you are going to have n states. In this case there are 8 states, 8 days. So go from the first day to number 8. The number 8 so you have to this pi means you have to multiply the probabilities not addition if you had a sigma you add here this is pi means multiply okay this is the uh, answer to this question where the probability of the observation sequence given the model we have state 3 3 3 1 1 2 3 2 3 given the model and the first probability is the initial probability p3 actually p3 is uh, we use the notation pi i which is the initial uh, denote the initial state probability uh, that is uh, we have three states and out of those three states we are going to select one state to start with so this is uh, we have to start with the sunny state so p3 and then after sunny state sunny state is given what is the next state 3 given 3 3 given 3 and then uh, uh, next day 3 given 3 again probability of 3 given 3 and the next day 1 given 3 that is uh, the we know sunny day here and then it's going to jump into a rainy day so this is 3 is given uh, 1 given 3 so sunny day is given what is the probability of getting a rainy day and then 1 given 1 3 given 1 2 given 3 3 given 2 so these are the few uh, probabilities that you need to multiply together to get the total probability for this kind of state sequence, state sequence. So when you substitute, and please note that here we take the initial probability to equal to pi 3 equal to 1. In some cases we assume one third. If you have three states, there is equal chance of selecting the first state. But here we take pi 3 is to be equal to 1 and then the other state transition probabilities are given from the matrix then they substitute that and we get this probability so this is how uh, we calculate the uh, probability for a given sequence but in this case these sequences are observable basically the states are observable so the Markov uh, model is a process in which each state corresponds to a deterministically observable event and hence the output of any given state is not random. 
so sometimes we cannot use marker models are too restrictive therefore we cannot use to for uh, speech recognition applications